you're on. Hi Simple Life Ministry, Lorna here, back at you with another video. Today I am going to be doing sun-dried tomatoes. Yes, sun-dried tomatoes are tomatoes are good for heart health. Tomatoes on a whole, good for heart health. It's good for cholesterol. It's good to give you glowing skin. Mm. Tom tomatoes are you know we jamaicans everything we're cooking every gravy we're making we're putting tomatoes in it because you know it's good for your pizza it's good to to add body to your sauces you know it's good when you have tomato in abundance to just get them together chop them up dehydrate them make your sun-dried tomato put them up so that when tomato is short then you can rely back on your, your sun-dried tomato. Even the other day, I was cooking up something, and um, I, I, I didn't want to go bother grab a fresh tomato to cook, and I had some in the dehydrator. So I just slide on over and took some out there and used that. So let us go ahead now, and i show you how I do. So you get your tomatoes, family. The Roma tomato is the, the best one to use to get that nice um, aroma, <laughs> the nice flavor. <laughs> so what I do, I, um, I would just cut them down like this. If you want family, you can just go ahead and just make it like this and do. But I, 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 I prefer to... Um, to cut them I prefer to cut them more than just that that one time I, I like it like that so that is why you have to make sure you use the Teflex sheet because you do not want any of the the juice or the moisture to lose you cannot throw that away all of you need everything that is coming from these and did I say tomato was good for prostate cancer? Mm. I did. Yes, oh, tomatoes yes. are amazing. Tomato juice for uh, my friend Marve told me the other day. She said, "Lorna, did you know tomato juice was good for sugar? What do you call it? What's the name for diabetes? Diabetes. Sugar is good for <laughs> diabetes. So um, she said, just 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 put it to boil." And, and blend it up and and there you have it so so family this I, when I work in my hands I go faster so I have some here that I that was already cut up and I I, I recently made the video with the garlic powder mm -hmm. so this is the some of the blended garlic that was left in the dehydrator and this is the powder that I made so I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up like that so you you want to you want to season up your your sun-dried tomato so here now I have some oregano I will put the description there I have some oregano there I have the garlic I'm going to put you can wait until you're ready to put the salt or you could just sprinkle it whenever you're ready but um, I'm just gonna go ahead I'm using the black salt here just a little bit out there and then you could use olive oil but because I do not trust it I have some here some pure cold press coconut oil so I'm going to use some of that in here let's go with about three tablespoon spoons of and you just mix it up like that family mix mix up your you, you, you season up your tomato I am telling you I feel like I could be eating this right now the, the, the flavor from the, the aroma from the garlic, the, the mashed one and the powder, the oregano, it's smelling in here like pizza <laughs> with the coconut oil. Oh my word. 
See how it's all seasoned and like that now, family? This is it. I'm telling you, so you're trying to get all of them to have a little of, to, you know, you don't want anybody getting jealous here, so everybody gets some, some, some stuff on them. Okay, so after you do that now, I'm going to go ahead with my trusty spatula that I don't need. Anyways, so I'm going to just go ahead now. And so you just do this family and you, you try to space them out. You put them so everybody, when it, you come to the back, you flip it over like that. And I try to put the, the ones that has the end, I put them at the, the end of the dehydrator so that if there's any juice coming out, it can always catch, catch it because um, yeah, like I said, you want the flavor from everything. These food family, if when you cook out your food with too much high heat, you lose some of the enzymes from it. So as much as you can dehydrate on a low temperature and you will get to um, preserve the flavor of your food, while enjoying the fullness of it i'm telling you when you dehydrate things you you're tasting it the way how nature has it prepared for you you can you can taste the richness the fullness the flavorfulness of it and so that is what i am trying to accomplish here i know dennis loves tomato Mm -hmm. uh, is is it because of the prostrate you're worrying about? <laughs> is it or is it you just love it? I just love to make it naturally. It? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this way now... I used to eat it raw as this, a child. Oh, well this is raw. Yeah. This is raw, you know, when you see I do it like this in the dehydrator mm -hmm. and that low temperature, mm -hmm. it is raw. But you know, they said that we're not supposed to eat tomato uncooked. Mm. No, it's better to be cooked. So, in a sense, I am cooking it without heat. You understand? I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's what I am doing here. Family, I need to get another tray to continue. But I want to show you. See? This is what it looks like. Mm. This is what it looks like before. And this is what it looks like after. Mm. So this is your sun-dried tomato. What you can do is if there is a sunny day, like here in Jamaica, even with the garlic, before I put it in the dehydrator, I put it outside in the hot sun because the sun here is really wild. So the sun now dries out most of the water so by the time i put it in the dehydrator it it saved me some of the current so we have to use up the sun the the sun because these are these are sun foods right and so we want to use it up most of it as we can so even for this now i could put it out in the sun until the sun goes down and then i put it in the dehydrator and the dehydrator will finished dried up so family here now we have the sun-dried tomato and it has all the oregano on it the coconut oil the garlic it smells so good even this one have a piece of garlic in it and I'm going to <laughs> it's good and I like this one because you have many stages of the of the 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 sun-dried tomato so sorry family if you like it really dry this one is not really dry if you want it really dry then let it go ahead and stay until or if you want it to be like this one you can just mm, um, more moist. see this one is more moist mm. Mm -hmm. but it tastes really see you want to try one <laughs> try. oh boy can I read it? Thank you. 
Just so you know. Mm -hmm. Just so you see I'm not lying. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, it's pretty good. So, family. Oh my God. You could just keep eating this. I promise you, it's that good. So, now when you put this in your mason jar. One second, don't move. So now family, you, what you do, you go ahead and you store these in your mason jar. And when, whenever you're ready to use them, what you will do, you put them in a little water and let them come back up soft and, and they'll be ready. Or you just, if it's a stew you're doing, you just throw it into the, the pot mm -hmm. and do it. If it's you're gonna do a pizza, just lay them on the pizza just like that. If you're gonna do a salad dressing, you can soak them or just throw them in the blender with your your other goodies. But seriously, family, you gotta try these recipes. And then you you finish and you put it up. I like to store mine in the fridge so that it, it stays fresh and no mold or anything especially being here in jamaica you want to make sure everything is in the fridge so family this is all for now i hope that you try this i hope you try this recipe it is really really good so um family remember please to like this video share it with someone who you haven't shared it with yet subscribe if you haven't done so already and thank you for spending your time with me Bye for now. Bless you.